Hello and welcome to this video. So what I'd like to do now then that we have our information is plot these entry stop loss and take profit columns that we've added to the data frame actually on our candlestick chart which is down the bottom here. One change I've quickly made I've realized since the previous videos is the DF plot location is from 0 to 60 here I think it was 200 to 300 or something like that. And to see these levels, entry, stop loss and take profit for each stage, the way we're going to do this is a little bit of a hack, but uh, it's the quickest way I can think of doing it because I want to get on with actually simulating this strategy. So we're going to make a new list called plot underscore coals and set that equal to entry, stop loss and take profit. And then another list called plot colors and set that equal to uh, hash 043 EF9, hash EB5334, and hash 34EB37. So very, very simply, we're going to loop through this list and at index zero, we have the column entry and coincidentally at index zero in this one, we have a color blue. At stop loss, we have a color red and at index two for take profit, we have a color green and we're going to make dots of those various colors for each buy and sell. So I'll just execute that. And now down into the plot code, what we need to do is we need to make a loop above the add trace for the buys. So I'm going to say 4i in range, 0 to 3. Tab all of this across. And then where we have our mid column here, just go up, take the plot calls, remove the mid column. And we'll have plot calls i in there. So again, just looping through each of the three columns. So I'll have entry, stop loss and take profit all being plotted with a marker. The thing we need to change is the color here. So I'll take plot colors and it'll be plot colors and I again. So it'll give us the correct color. Now we can duplicate exactly the same thing for the cells. So just paste that in, push that across, take this and replace the mid C and take plot colors I, which will be exactly the same. This isn't the most efficient or best way of doing this, but it'll do. So having that in should let us plot the trades onto our candle chart. And I want to have a little look before we start simulating at what we have here, because there are a couple of interesting things in these trades. Ignoring the first trade, because we have no idea about the previous candle, let's just walk through what we have. So the first trade here we can see is a buy, so that's a buy there. It looks like our entry point is a little bit above the high, which is good. Our stop loss looks more or less okay as well, about 40% or so of the range of the candle. And this looks about 80% as a take profit as well. So that all looks good. So if we follow through, we find that we may be triggered just about here, I think the entry and opened our buy. And then here we'll have closed the buy because we have a new trade set here with a new signal. We have probably lost a tiny bit on this one, I'm not sure. Now, if we follow this one up and up and up here, we certainly don't trigger anything. And then we get a new trade placed on here where we have a trigger point for a sell here. Here, the trigger point will have been triggered. And then immediately on this, at the end of this candle closed, because we have a new one. So we'd have probably made a tiny bit on this one, actually. And then we'd have definitely triggered this one. And we might well have triggered and taken profit in the same candle or lost in the same candle. Whoops. Or lost in the same candle. And this is very interesting. And this is what I wanted to highlight. If we ran a simulation just using the four hour candles that we're using here, we would run into a little problem in the simulation with this big red candle here. That's because we've triggered and broken the stop loss and broken the take profit all inside one candle. The problem is we don't know which came first, the high, the low, or the close price effectively. So when we run our simulation, we're going to start with the four hour candles and just with the close prices, but then we'll change strategy and actually go in pessimistically and see how much things change if we say we go in using the low of a candle and then the high or vice versa for cells. And then what we'll have to do is actually go quite a bit deeper and we're going to have to break these candles up into their five minute granularities and use the five minute prices. Now we could go much finer than five minutes. I think the API of Oanda offers five second granularity for candles. But in my experience, once you get down to using the five minute candles, really there's not much difference in the overall result of a particular strategy. You'll know if a strategy is working, giving you some profit, irrespective of whether you have plus or minus 5%, let's say, on the results. But this is a very, very interesting case that always comes up when backtesting is done and you have to bear it in mind. And actually, I think there's another one just looking at it here. Yep. So here's another cell and the very next candle, it certainly triggered the cell. But did it hit the low that went past the stop loss before the trigger or not? The answer is we don't know. So this is a bit of a question mark. And this one here, that one looks good. That one took profit. Let's have a look at this one here. That's a cell that actually got triggered here. And then immediately reset for another cell here. 
and seeing as the trigger was here and it would have closed that one would have made a little bit of profit and then this one got cancelled out straight away here and then this one is a buy which was triggered here and again we've got exactly the same situation we'd have oh no we'd have triggered the buy on this one in the middle here sorry and then we don't know actually for this one which order everything occurred in so we might well have stopped out this one but we certainly would have done here or maybe taken profit first so you can see that it's actually quite difficult using just the candles the four hour candles themselves to understand what would have happened on each of the trades we're going to have to dig down in the data a little bit more okay then that's it then for this video we've come quite a long way actually we've managed to get the strategy implemented we have our entries we're able to plot now we have to go into the more complicated arena of trying to simulate and understand what this strategy is doing exactly thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video